Video number 8. Step 3. Advertise your landing page. Once you have set up your landing page, you can send some traffic to it. In this step, I want to explain to you how you have to approach traffic. The one thing you have to have in your mind about traffic is testing. Yeah, you just need to test. There's no such thing as the perfect traffic. We as online marketers do have a really good idea of what sources of traffic are of high quality, but we can't guarantee any results. We just need to test. And why can't we guarantee any results? Non-online marketers can guarantee you results because the success of any type of offer depends on many factors at the same time. It depends on the image you use in the advertisement, the text you use in the advertisement, the country you're targeting, the language you are targeting, the age of the people you're targeting, the gender of the people you're targeting, the time of year, the traffic source, how hot your topic is online, and maybe on several more factors as well. So for that reason, it's always better to test. Here I will tell you a few really important tips you should consider in your traffic efforts so that you don't go blind and can avoid spending thousands of dollars testing. I will tell you where you can start. Places that have brought results to a lot of people. And because they've worked for us, there's a huge possibility that it can work for you as well. This is something completely logical. It's hard to tell you that you'll have a lot of success if you decide to send 1 million clicks for $10 to an offer when you don't know where in the world that traffic is coming from. For that reason, the following tips will tell you where to turn once you decide to get traffic. Tip number one, the traffic should be niche related. You have to make sure the people you are going to advertise to are actually interested in your topic. There are many traffic sources that offer this. SEO. SEO or search engine traffic consists of getting traffic from search engines. You build a website, write a lot of content relevant to your offer, optimize that website with an endless number of optimization techniques, and then after a few months or so, some of your web pages will start getting at the top of the search engines once people search with a term related to your content. Then when they decide to enter your website, they see your offer somewhere on the page and decide to go and visit it. That's a basic example of this type of traffic. It's niche related because people are performing a search with a keyword related to your website and your offer. But the process of getting at the top of the search engines, like Google, which is the most used one, is really hard. People call this type of traffic free traffic, but it's not. If you're not an expert on optimization, you're lost. And you have to pay someone to do it for a monthly fee, so it's not free. It is high converting, yes. SEO traffic is amazingly great. PPC. There are various places that offer search engine traffic by paying per click. The most common places are Google AdWords, Yahoo Advertising, and Bing Ads. They place relevant ads right at the top of the search engines once people search for a term. So this is a really nice, easy way to get in the top. However, it can get really expensive. You just need to test with some money and see what you get. As I told you, testing is important. PPC gets expensive if you don't know what you're doing and decide to get as many clicks as possible without making some changes to your ad. There are other places where you can get niche targeted traffic in the form of PPC. Those places are Facebook advertising, Twitter, LinkedIn, 7Search. These sources of traffic have different ways to set up traffic campaigns. Some of them may ask you for keywords, others might ask you to target by interest, and some others may ask you to pick categories, etc. Other types of traffic sources are what is called PPV, pop ads, pop cash. Tip number two, the traffic should be country oriented. This is something extremely important when talking about CPA offers. The majority of the CPA offers out there ask you to send traffic from a specific country. Very few CPA offers are worldwide. So it's very important that you come across with a traffic source that can give you the option of targeting the specific countries of your choice. Tip number three, the traffic should have demographic choices. It is highly imperative that the traffic source have as many demographic choices as possible. Let me tell you why. Every single need among human beings is segmented by audiences. Therefore, every product is segmented by audiences too. Exactly the same thing happens online. There are some products that are oriented to satisfy needs for women. Others are for men. Others are for kids. Others are for teenagers. And others are for adults. For that reason, traffic should also be segmented like that. It's just not good trying to send a million people to an offer and hope for the best. You have to make sure what audience your offer has been created for, and then you need to identify as many characteristics of this audience as you can. A really good way to do this is by searching on Google for a term like diabetes.
Take the top page, which will probably be talking just about diabetes. Then you can go to Alexa.com or Quantcast.com, analyze that website there, and you'll have a really cool vision of the audience that is directly related to your topic. Now you just need to look for those traffic websites that offer you as many demographic options as possible. For this reason, one of the most used traffic sources by all kinds of internet marketers is Facebook ads. Yeah, that's right. Facebook is the largest social media platform on the planet. Everybody is on Facebook, and there's a huge probability that any audience that you would ever try to target is there too. And Facebook has an unbelievable flexibility when talking about demographics. You can even target places from the smallest town to a large city if you want. It's just amazing. 